Hi everyone, so this is me. Um, I'm feeling incredibly weird and awkward. I have been psyching myself up for days um, to do this video just because normally I get to just be hands and I quite like just being hands. Um, I didn't realize how much it kind of stressed me out to do face to face. Um, before I decided to do this face to face, so um, yeah, it's just a bit weird and I feel quite nervous and I've really had to psych myself up. Um, I've got to put makeup on, <laughs> like normally I'm in my jammies when I'm crafting for you and you have no idea. Uh, but today I thought, right, you're going to see my face <laughs> and me, um, so yeah, I boosted my confidence with the makeup, <laughs> but anyways. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm Sasha. If you've not seen me before, well, none of you have seen me before. Uh, you've only ever seen these, <laughs> which is so weird. Um, but anyways, uh, I am a crafter. I am not an artist. Um, but I was asked by Artiza. Artiza sent me an email. And they said, would you review some of our products? And at first I was like, you've got to be kidding me. I sent an email to my husband and mother-in-law and a few friends and I was like, yeah, you won't believe it. This company's emailed me um, because I actually know who they are and I really like their stuff and I've really wanted some of their stuff for a while. Um, and there were a couple factors why I haven't bought it. One was I wasn't sure how good it would be. I wasn't sure what the quality would be like and it is a bit more pricey. Um, because they are an actual art company, so I wasn't sure about that. But I have actually bought their vinyl before, so I've bought one of these um, because I make my own handmade journals, and I wanted to be able to use my scanning cut and cut some words out and stick them on my journals and make some um, specialized, personalized books. And so I have bought their vinyl before, and I've wanted to sort of buy a few other things. The other thing that put me off was they had quite expensive shipping, and so I was like, I don't really want to like buy this stuff, pay a load of shipping and wait for it to come. So those were kind of the two reasons I haven't. Now on a plus side, it says across the top of their website, free shipping to UK. So that's exciting. I don't know what it is for the US, but for the UK, it's free shipping. Um, so that has totally changed the game for me. I think I would definitely buy from them again um, and maybe try out some new stuff. But anyways, they sent me an email saying, would you review some things for us? And I said yes. Um, of course. <laughs> and um, so they said, what do you want? And I was like, well, how much can I order? I don't know. So I just picked my top three things that I would like to review. And they said, okay. And they sent them all to me. Um, sorry. This is Lenny. And she likes to get involved when I'm filming sometimes and likes to walk all over my screen. Um, my husband named her. She's a girl, but her name is Lenny. Yeah, thanks husband. But yeah, there she is. That's my cute kitty. Um, now I'm going to be covered in hair. Never mind. So, yeah, so back to Oteza. I picked three things. I picked the vinyl, which I love. And this in the UK is £20. Well, £19.99, I think. Um, and then I picked some watercolour pencils because I like colouring occasionally. I'm crap, <laughs> but I like to try. Um, so I went with the massive pack of pencil crayons, watercolor pencil crayons, and then I thought, there's no way they're gonna give me this. Like, no way. Um, these are their alcohol markers. There's 60 markers in this bad boy. Like, I'm so excited. Check out that. Oh my goodness. So I've wanted a really good set of alcohol markers for a really long time, and I've not bought them because it's an expensive investment. I never know how long they're going to last for. I don't know what the best brand is to buy. Um, and so you'll see what I've got compared to what I have now from Arteza. Um, so I wanted to try the alcohol markers. Now, I wanted to say to you that I'm not an artist. I cannot draw for the life of me. If you saw my drawings versus my daughter's drawings or my son's drawings, <laughs> You'd swear I was probably like six years younger than them. Uh, so let's see here. Here's my my daughter's drawings. She drew a mermaid. How great is that? Um, mine would look nothing like that. <laughs> I really honestly can't draw. Um, I'm not very good at coloring. I am a very beginner in coloring. I am not good at shading, all that kind of stuff. 
So when I agreed to do the Arteza reviews, I went and looked online and looked at Arteza reviews and I kind of got discouraged at first because I was like, oh my word, these are all artists and they're all creating amazing projects and amazing things and like the shading, it looks like real life people when they're coloring. Um, and I just thought, oh man, like, I don't have the patience to color something for an hour, let alone to color in that level of detail. But then I thought, hang on, I know, like every crafter I know likes to color and a lot of us, we stamp because we can't draw. Um, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to do this review and I'm going to do it from a crafter's perspective. So I am not an artist. I don't know how to use these pens, pencils to the full advantage. I have absolutely no idea. But as a crafter who likes nice cards, nice scrapbook layouts, those kinds of things, this is my review of these products for someone who's shit at art. <laughs> Just to be blunt. But likes to colour and likes pretty things. So what my plan is in this video is I'm going to show you some of the things I've already coloured because I've had a go and I've had a play. My thoughts along the way, if I can remember them all. Um, and my review, my take on these products as a crafter. So if you'd like an artist review on these pens and pencil crayons and whether they're good for you as an artist and whether they work to the full potential that you'd want them to, then please Google for an artist review because you won't get it today. Um, this is just the basic of basics and you'll see my colouring and you'll be like, mm, she's a bit pants. <laughs> but it's okay, I don't mind. I get to colour and I like colouring. Um, so this is what we're going to do today. I'm going to take you over to my kitchen. Hopefully you won't see the mess in there <laughs> when I set everything up. And then I'm going to show you how I colour um, and some of the things I've coloured and then I've not completed any projects with them. I hope to soon and then I'll post photos maybe on my Facebook or I'll do another video and show you there. Um, but I would love you to join me um, in reviewing these products. Uh, and just as a heads up, I really like them. Um, there are some, a couple of little negative points, but not really many. Oh, the other thing I want to say is Arteza has not paid me to do this. Um, they've given me this stuff for free, and they're very confident in their products that they believe that my honest review will be good. Um, I think, well, that's what I'm assuming anyways, because they've not paid me to do it. They've not said, um, just point out the positives. They sent me an email saying, we want your 100% honest opinion and honest review, which I thought was pretty ace because, you know, for them to believe that much in their products says a lot. So I'm going to give them an honest review of what I think. The other thing is that they have also sent me what's called affiliate links. So the links you'll see below for the products I'm showing today will give me money. They won't cost you any more. You could go straight to their website or you could buy it off of the links that I provide and it'll be the exact same price. I will make a 15% commission on any sales in there. I'm not bothered if you buy them. Please don't feel like this is a sales pitch. If nobody buys anything, I don't really care because I've got this stuff for free and I'm really excited. <laughs> so it, it doesn't matter to me, but they've given me these affiliate links and so I will post them below. They have also said that you can have 10% off until the end of this month. So the end of June 2019, you can get 10% off with the link that I provide as well. Um, so if you want to go on, if you like any of these, these things or you find other things you like, there's 10% off via my links. Um, I think that's all I have to say. So, um, but please, like, I'm not bothered if you buy or don't buy from them. Um, they've not put any pressure on me to sell to you. I'm just going to tell you what I think and I do like this stuff. Um, and I will tell you the things I don't like and that kind of stuff along the way. But this is 100% up to you whether you want to buy it or not. I'm just totally happy that I've got all this cool stuff and that I feel really honoured that they asked me to review for them um, and that they sent me these cool things. So with that in mind, I'm going to take you to my kitchen and we're going to do a little bit of crafting and colouring. Thanks! Okay, so we're in my kitchen. Um, you can see my light. Can you see that ring? <laughs> That's my light. I bought a makeup light <laughs> because it was the only light that I could find that was bright that I could fit my camera in the center of because when I'm crafting, I don't want shadows. Um, and if you have one light on like one, one side, 
Then you get the shadow on the other side. So I looked at a lot of lights when I was debating what to buy. And I went for the selfie makeup artist light. So that's this weird ring you can see in the shadow. Um, other thing, you can laugh at me if you like, but in order to show you on my kitchen table, I can't see my camera all that well because my camera is on the wrong, like the, the viewing screen is on the wrong side of my camera. So I'm sat on the to the left of my camera and my screen's to the right. Um, so my screen's over here and I'm sat here. Um, so it's really difficult to completely see what I'm doing. So I put masking tape on the table so that I know if I come out of this masking tape, you can't see what I'm doing. So this is actually quite a small square. Um, Maybe I should actually move my camera up a bit because then you could see more. Hang on. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move the camera up a bit higher. I'll be back in a minute. So, <laughs> sorry about that. I was going to like just restart the whole thing again. Um, but then I don't remember what I've already said. So, sorry, you've got to watch <laughs> my whole like setting it all up again. Um, so, I've made the camera taller, which means you can see a lot more of my table. Um, but I've got to do it, so I'm sat here on the side and this stuff is facing you in front of me. So I'm going to have the biggest problem going backwards and forwards and up and down because I've got to try and work out um, moving it so that it's going the right direction for you and showing you in the right direction as well. Um, so yes, so let's have fun with that. So the first thing I wanted to talk to you about was the vinyl. So I have purchased Arteza vinyl before and I really, really loved the quality. So it comes with 42 sheets. Um, these are all the colours you get. You can see them all online. See, I'm going backwards already. <laughs> you can see them all online. Um, and this is a quick flip through. You kind of get one of every single colour. It's really good vinyl. This is, they do two different kinds of vinyl. They do the self-adhesive vinyl and then they do the fabric iron-on vinyl, I believe. Um, I don't do sewing and, <laughs> and things like that, uh, but I love doing my journals and my notebooks and putting words on. So this vinyl is great. When I was put off by the shipping and the cost of it, I started looking elsewhere and I found this company, which seemed to be one of the cheapest ones. Everyone else seemed to be sort of comparative to um, Arteza. So this was a cheaper one. It came in A4. and now. This is my second pack of this. I did ask them for this so I could review some more and cut some more of it because I've cut almost every sheet of my other pack. Um, and you can't get the colour range that you can get in this. You absolutely cannot. I cannot find any other places that do all the, excuse me, all the same colours as this. Um, and then I've got these ones in black and white because I just thought I wanted some more black and white. You can get a black and white pack from Arteza as well. And if I could go back, I would probably just buy the Arteza version. So you can see I've not used much because I've not been very impressed by it. It's alright, but it just doesn't have the same quality of stick. It doesn't look as good either. So this is from... I can't remember now. Oh, GM, gmcrafts.co.uk. And, I mean, it's fine. It worked alright. But I didn't like it as much as the Arteza one. And I don't have any samples to show you. I think because it didn't work out overly great. And I don't think I used much of it. The other downside is that it's A4. And on some of my books. Um, I'll show you in a second. I've done like wedding books. And I need big writing on it. Um, and you, you can't get as big with these ones. I mean you could probably do them like if you separate it all out. But it's a bit more of a pain. The downside to Arteza Vinyl is that you fall in love with some of the colours and you cannot buy those colours individually. And so that's where one thing that I'll probably write to Arteza and say, like, look, as, you know, as a crafter, I don't like some of the colours. There's colours in here that I just wouldn't use, that I don't like, and you're kind of stuck with them. And then the other thing is that there's colours in here that I absolutely love, and like, I love the metallics and you can't buy a pack of the metallics. So that's a downside. So let me show you. I just forgot that it was on my kitchen table. I have done recently, um, every so often I get asked to make wedding guest books. So I've done this one for a friend um, here. And so this is using the Arteza sticky back vinyl uh, and my scanning cut. And so I cut out, I put in what I want, cut it out, 
and then it easily adheres to the book. So this is one that's getting sent off um, and I've used my pearlized papers. They have something like 500 people going to the wedding. So she asked, my friend asked me for like 200 sheets. The most I could fit in there was I think a hundred and something or just shy of a hundred, which gives you 200 um, pages basically. But yeah, so I've, I, I do my own books. I make them all from scratch by hand. Um, I cut down all the chipboard for the covers. I punch all the holes, I bind everything, do it all my own, um, and I love the Arteza vinyl. It just makes the most beautiful, beautiful um, fronts, if you can see that. It sticks gorgeous. This was done, um, I did this, I think nearly three months ago, and it's absolutely perfect. Nothing's lifting, nothing's coming off. Um, I think you've got like a lifetime of wear out of this Arteza vinyl. Um, then I did, this one, I'm sorry, I've put it in packaging because it's ready to be sold <laughs> at a market. Um, it's another one of my journals. Um, so with the scan and cut, you can get a lot of files online. Um, so these are all files that I've used and cut out with Arteza vinyl. The red. Um, being a Christian, I thought this was quite fun. Um, coffee and Jesus. So I've, again, that's the brown Arteza vinyl. Um, running on Grace and Coffee, which is Arteza Vinyl. Sorry, I'm trying not to get that giant makeup light in there. Um, and then a Bible verse. Oops, oops, oops. There we go. <laughs> um, and then I did Wine and Diva. So if you think that you get one 12 by 12 sheet of each color, um, I have done, I think I got three, maybe four books out of the red, one red sheet. Um, so you need roughly, like this is, it'll cut like that into your vinyl. So if you think this is like almost six by six, you can get four books out of it. So one sheet does go quite a long way. And I really like it. So here's the black um, that I've cut and I've not pulled off. And it says, letters to my son as I watch you grow, Elias Edward James, which is my son's name. And now I picked the wrong kind of font because just here, it started catching a bit because it was really, really, really skinny. Um, but I plan to do some books like this um, to sell, uh, personalized books of letters, and, and I'll include really nice paper in them. I've got everything I need to make them. I just need to get on and do it. But the Arteza vinyl is brilliant because I can personalize all my journals and notebooks that I make, um, and then that becomes a lot more fun, uh, if that makes any sense. Uh, these are my scrap bits of my vinyl. I've got another one here, it's just letters to my daughter, as I watch you go, Rosalie Evelyn, which I'll have to recut, obviously, because um, I don't think you can see that in there. You can see the letters, because um, I obviously bent it in the thing, and so the letters might be a bit bent, and it might cause it not to stick very well. But I keep all these scrap bits as well, because you can just chop it down, and then you tell your scan it, you can scan it in on your scan and scat, scan and scat, scan and cut, and then you can place your letters wherever you want them to go. So I don't know what else you could do with this vinyl, but this is what I do with it. And I have to say that the Arteza vinyl is my favorite, but the negative side to it is that you cannot order your favorite colors. So I love the gold, the silver, they do a shiny gold, shiny silver, shiny or matte gold and matte silver, and then all the beautiful colors, and you can't get them individually, which is really rubbish. So I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope that they'll be able to do that at some point soon because their vinyl is definitely my favorite by far. So that's the vinyl. And let me move this wedding book before I damage it. I've got to package it up today and get it ready to be posted. <clears throat> right, let's move on to the pencils and pens. I don't really want to do them individually because um, they kind of they kind of go together for me. So the packaging was really good. They came in a box, um, wrapped up really well, so nothing was broken, nothing was damaged. Comes with this great handle, which I've actually been using the handles a lot. Um, it's got an extra pocket on the back, so you could put your watercolor brushes in there. I've got these ones. Sorry, I see my face and stuff. I've got these ones. I think this is from AliExpress. It's absolutely tiny, so be careful when you're buying um, 
how big you get. It's really hard to hold, absolutely difficult to hold. Um, I think these might be from, oh this is Jane Davenport, <laughs> so I bought that in Canada when I was home last. Um, and then I think these are, yeah, Pentel, I don't know, is that how you say it, Pentel? Um, in hindsight, it would have been really good to have said to Arteza, can I have these kind of brushes, so I could review their brushes as well. Because mine, what I like about, when, sorry, let's start again. What I want in a brush is a fine tip, and the amount of these that I've ordered, and you end up with a multi-pack where you get, like, a fine tip, and then quite fat tips, or it's really difficult to work out what you're ordering when you order from somewhere like eBay or Amazon. Let me just turn this light down a bit, I think it's a bit bright. Um, it's really difficult to work out what you're ordering, um, and sometimes you get like way too fat of an end, and I just find it really, really difficult for colouring. So it's worth having a look at theirs, I haven't looked at theirs to see. This is for the water colouring, sorry, it's not to do with this, so I don't know why I've just said, oh, you could put your watercolour brush in there. Um, but it's got the great pocket. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to keep them together, because the pencil case doesn't have anything. So it opens up, it's got Velcro on the front, and then you can see all your colours, which I love this. The thing I struggled with with this is that the elastic is really tight that holds these pens in. So when it's open like this, it is absolutely impossible to get them back in. But they do lie flat, so if you've got enough space, then you could open it up and lie it flat, which as a crafter I usually don't have enough space. Um, but it's great, because it just flips like a book, and you can just flip between them. And when they come, they all come in their little colour families. And I will show you in just a second the ones I got from uh, AliExpress, because I wanted cheaper ones, because I didn't know if I wanted to invest in them. But in this one, you get them all, they come in their colour families, you've kind of got every shade of everything. As a crafter, this is as a crafter. As an artist, I don't know if you've got everything in here that you would need. As a crafter, absolutely awesome kit. So this, here, is what I got from AliExpress. Now in terms of price, this one I think is £65, and you get free shipping, you get the case included, and in it comes the blending a blender marker, so this one is like the clear one for blending in, and you get sort of every shade of what you, whatever you could possibly need. This one is about £17 um, from AliExpress, and this one you pick in terms of colour, uh, like types of colouring that you want to do. Let me just see my sheet. So I printed this off of their website. So this is the sheet of all the colours that they stock and have. Um, and then at the time I bought mine it was £15.30 and I got 30 colours. Now you can get their, I think what it was was that you could get the artist set or you could get the animation set or you could get the um, brights set or something. They, they kind of did the random, random sets that kind of put some of everything in for you or you could pick your own 30 colours. And I think if you pick your own 30 colours, the ones that you want, it was two or three pounds more. So this worked out to, when I bought them, roughly just over 50p a pen. And now I've not seen it at all close to that. I've only ever seen it for about 17 pounds. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. Um, I've hardly used it because is such a random array of colours. I have got a stinking amount of greys in here, like loads of grey pens. Uh, that's the colour of this blender. But you, like I've got all those greys. I've got like a couple p bright pinks, couple dark pinks, no purples, um, some blues, a skin tone colour-ish. Um, this white pen I think was a a free gift that came with it, touch new white gel pen. So I've hardly used this because every time I've gone to colour I've been frustrated and, and stressed out because I don't have the colour that I would want or they don't blend very well. So they work perfectly fine and I like them but if you want to get all their colours which I, don't, I can't remember how many there are, there's I think about 200, oh 168, <laughs> there it is. 
Um, if you want to get all 168, then you would have some of every color. And again, they come in this kind of, you get the bag for free, which I thought was great. So they come in that bag. But if I'm going to spend money and knowing what I know now that I've got the Arteza one, I would just buy the Arteza one. And that's not me trying to promote them and say that they're amazing. But as a crafter, um, this has got one of everything. And I don't have to stress, I know I'll use them. I've used them about five times since I got them like a week ago. I've loved them. They've made it a joy to color with. I found these stressful because I really had to rack my brain with what would go with what. Um, how to, like, because this is my crafter's brain. I can't, I can't function. I look at this and I see a mess. And it stresses me out. And so I can't think what colors would blend together, what would go well together. This, I know I've got everything. I've got every color in here. And I've not once found that I can't find a color that I need. And again, this is a crafter's review, not a, an artist review. Um, but I've loved it. I've absolutely loved it. And if these pens last and they don't dry out, then it is totally a worthwhile investment to me because they've been so fun to play with and so fun to color with. Um, I'm going to try coloring with them to show you this versus that, but it's going to be really difficult because I'm so limited in colors on this. And yeah, so this works out to about just over a pound a pen. This works out, if you've got it at normal price, you're paying about probably 70p to 80p a pen, roughly. So for 20p-ish, a bit more, it's probably worth just biting the bullet and going with paying a big flat amount and getting a full set in a really good quality case as opposed to a set like this. And I mean, I've liked these. I've just hardly colored with them. I've barely touched them. I've probably touched these more in the past five days and, or past week than I have touched these because I foolishly didn't know what I was doing and picked a set. I think I picked the animation sets so that I could color in people. So I've got a lot of like hair colors and some skin tones and then a few normal colors. I don't know why I've got so many gray colors. I really don't. Maybe it's for shading around the edges. Again, I'm not an artist, so I, I just don't know how to properly use these pens. But I'm really in love with these and I think I'm actually going to be doing coloring. And then I can pop this in the car when we go on holiday and I can sit there and color. I've got every color I need. And I can either lay it out flat and take up loads of space or I can keep it nice and tidy like that. So... That's my thoughts on AliExpress versus Arteza. Um, and now I'm going to show you some of my things. So this one, let me do... Uh, hang on, no, I'll show you the pencil crayons first and then I'll show you what I did because I did some... I did the same images in pencil crayons as well as that. So the Arteza pencil crayons. Move these up the way. Um, these... I found... Sorry, I've, I was colouring this morning. <laughs> so... I really like these pencil crayons. Um, I don't think I know what to do with watercolors very well because I really struggled with them a bit. Um, but one downside to this case, so this is the maximum big case you can get. You can get one I think that's got 13 colors, 15 colors, something like that. And you might be able to get a medium one, but I went for the big one. And this is where I can tell I'm not an artist. So, well, first off, this is the negative bit, is how in the heck you get these up without your pencil crayons going flying everywhere. I don't know, this is an Arteza fail, I think. It is almost impossible to get these sheets out. So you get three layers, and they are so tricky to get out the case. I'm gonna see if I can display all three layers for you. Um, so I thought getting this big set and this is probably where I'm not an artist, because to me they all look the same. <laughs> so each layer to me looks the same. And if you pull, let's say, the pink from each layer, because there's a pink in each one, and I have no idea how I'm going to put them back, I can hardly tell the difference. Um, there's only a slight difference for these. So one of my things that when I was coloring, I was like, well, see, I don't even know where they came from now. Oh, well. <laughs> um was where's the pastel colors? They're all brights. And they're all just slightly different shades of brights. And I don't know how, th this is where, like if I had some artist background, I could be like, oh yes, well this would be your first layer of color, this would be your second, and this would be your third. 
maybe that's what it is. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, you can comment below and tell me if you are an artist why you've got three sets of pencils that are all very similar shade, similar shades. Um, I mean, they're not all identical, and I mean, you've got a white here, and you've got all your greys here, and there's no greys on those, but there's browns, there's browns, there's diarrhea colours. <laughs> I don't know how to describe them. These are like colours I just wouldn't tend to use, because they don't look like nice colours. I, mean, I bet you all use them anyways, but I'm sorry, it does not don't, don't shout at me for calling those diarrhea colours. <laughs> anyways, um, this is where I'm confused as to why we've got all these similar colours. But anyways, if I were to buy these as a crafter, I would just buy the basic kit because there's too many and I don't have a clue why I need so many. Um, and the layers are damn hard to get out the case. But uh, I mean, the other thing is there's no space in the case for you to store your pens. So if you want to take these on holiday or you're stuck in the doctor's surgery and you want to do a bit of colouring while you're waiting, there's nowhere to store all your stuff in one nice bundle, which is what I like about the other bag with the alcohol markers is it's got pockets on it, so you could have your extra little bits that you might need. This, there's, there's zero space for anything else to go in it. So those are kind of my negative points. Um, I feel like it lacks in pastel colours, it lacks in sort of any other shades, but then again, perhaps what the trick is is that you create the pastel colour by using your blending skills. Um, I haven't got any of those, so... <laughs> Um, I'm not sure, but I'm happy with the quality of them. I like how they color. I like how they blend. They seem to react with the water instantly and give you a really nice instant smooth result. Now I'm just going to pop these back in and I'm just going to probably use one layer. I'll use that, that layer there. So I pop these back in. Um, oh gosh, these stress me out so much I feel like I'm going to fling them everywhere. Because they just... Whoa. It's just, it is such a flimsy feeling plastic and it's so difficult to get them in. The tin's really nice, but the, the inside bits are just really difficult to work with. So those are my Arteza ones. I have got these Stampin' Up! ones. Um, so the Stampin' Up! ones uh, have only come in 13 colours, um, which could be the same as the Arteza basic ones. Now I've coloured, sorry I'm turning them to face myself, I've coloured with these quite a bit. These are the only watercolour pencils I've had. I used to be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and so these are the only ones I ever had because I wanted to be able to demonstrate with stuff that we sold. I found these colours really limiting because they're, I mean there's kind of one of everything roughly, um, but I found them quite limiting in terms of colour. I wanted a bit more. Um, when compared to the Arteza ones, I found that the Arteza ones reacted to the water a lot faster and that basically your scribbling just blended smoothly straight away whereas with the Stampin' Up! one you've got to work with it quite a bit more but I'll try and zoom in and do a bit of colouring for you to kind of show you the difference between those um, but those are the only ones that I have to compare with because again I'm a crafter, I'm not an artist, I haven't really got much going on in the way of these kind of supplies so let me show you what I've done so far and then I will colour some stuff for you just to kind of show you um, straight up as well. Straight up? I don't know if that makes sense. Okay, so I've got these flowers. Um, let me zoom in. Sorry, I've lost my remote control for my camera and so I have absolutely no idea where it's gone and I've got to do it all by hand so I apologise. My arm's going up now. Okay, so this one is done with the alcohol markers and this one is done with the watercolour pens. Um, so that's just to compare the difference. I find the alcohol markers more time consuming um, and I found my hand ached a lot more but I love the result of it a lot more. I find the colour much more bright, much more vibrant um, than the watercolour ones. This is done on Stampin' Up! thick cardstock um, and so is this one. And this one is done with embossed ink and this is done with memento ink pad uh, for the outside image, sorry. And this is a Stampin' Up! Um, flower. Then I had a play with the Gorgeous Girls that I got from, uh, let's put it over there, from Every Crafts a Pound. So I've done one on my favourite shimmer cardstock. So this is from Lime Tree Crafts. It's my favourite pearlescent cardstock. This is the alcohol marker. Um, 
I struggled, I didn't realize at first that if you use, I, I pretty much did all the images in the end with embossing powder, so I stamped them all in black embossing powder, and I didn't realize that the alcohol reacts with the embossing powder, so you keep, you can see some black streaks across it, and that's just because of the embossing powder. Um, this is done on watercolor paper, or watercolor card which I got from every crafts a pound, I think, or maybe another shop, I can't remember. Um, but that's on watercolor paper. Um, and I just found that when I was blending, it kind of like was soaking in really quickly, and so it was a bit harder. But those are the, I tried to do the same sort of colors in comparison with each other. These are all the Arteza products, by the way. It's not um, doing other ones. Sorry, I'm not making any sense again. Right, and then that's the same. So this is both on my favorite pearlescent cardstock, um, both with the embossing powder on it. This is the alcohol pen, and that's the watercolor pencils. But I had a lot of fun with them. With the watercolor pencils, all I kind of did was do the edge and then bring the color in. With the pens, I did a couple of different colors, but I'll show you what I did with them in a minute. Um, this one I did with watercolor pencils. Um, and the memento ink and then I realized that the memento ink bleeds everywhere and so that was not a clever idea So I stopped coloring on that one um, Then I have this gorgeous girls big stamp and I tried to color that one in using the alcohol pens and it was really hard work because there actually wasn't that much space to color in and when I worked out that the alcohol pens were pulling and grabbing the um, embossing um, embossed stuff it was extra hard to not get black everywhere. But this is me not being a colorer, colorer. Um, and I loved it, and I, I did have fun doing it. Um, and you'll be a special person if you get a card from me that has coloring on it, because <laughs> I'm not the biggest colorer, but I, is that even a word? Um, but I really enjoy uh, the result you get from these alcohol markers and pencil crayons. Then this is what I was doing this morning. Um, this is an Alina Cuddle. Alina Crafts stamp, um, which has a matching die, and I just kind of, I tried to just put the colour in one spot and then pull it and see what it looked like. So I think that's alright. Um, but this one, again, I did it with the embossing powder, so I didn't want to do it in the pen, um, the alcohol pens, because it's quite detailed with a lot of um, black embossing powder, so I would just end up smearing the black everywhere. So those are the ones that I've done. I've got a couple images here, and I'm going to try and color them in. Hang on, just face them. Too. I'm going to try and color them in while they're facing you, <laughs> um, and just see how we go. I wanted to find another couple with some more images because um, let me just find them. So I've got all these ones that I've done as well. This is they get these these little cards that come with the stamps. So I was kind of trying to follow how they colored those. Um, so I've got some of these little ones down here. I might just turn my chair so I can't colour sideways. I just don't want to hit the, the legs of this camera are really long and I'm just a bit worried that I'm going to conk them. Now I can't see at all. I don't think. Oh, that's really difficult. Okay. So I'm going to slightly tilt it but I'm going to try and keep it in the screen but I'm, I can't seem to colour without it facing me. Um, let's just colour the image. Um, but we're not going to complete the image. I will do half the butterfly with Arteza and half the butterfly with the Touch New from AliExpress. Okay, so let's start with the Touch New. Um, I will do some pinks. So I will, right, I will pull out the pink ones from the bundle that I got. Um, sorry, I'm sitting really awkwardly on the corner of this table to try and keep this um, centered to you. So this one's the darker one. Um, so my old Stampin' Up! Um, team leader, Michelle Last, taught me that you should do the dark colors first and then do the light colors so that you can then blend them in. So I tend to like to do the dark ones. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I always try and pick an edge and then kind of color along that edge and then blend it out. And I'm not very skilled, so I don't tend to <laughs> do more than two colors with my shading. Whereas I know you could a lot a lot of people could do more than that. I'm just gonna 
do that much for now. These don't really stick on the ends and the Arteza ones don't either. Um, but that's not an overly big issue for me. So I'm just going to go with a light one and a dark one. And the idea is that you then color over and you color and color and color and color and color and you pull the color into the other color. Does that make any sense? You're not going to go through the paper. If you did this with a normal water-based pen, then you're going to end up with um, with it balling, like getting all fluffy on the top. So you just kind of have to go over and over and over and over and you can start to see that line disappearing. Um, so this is actually starting to slightly ball the paper. So the paper's starting to get just a bit rough there. I don't know if that's because I'm grabbing some of this silly block embossing ink <laughs> um, and pulling it in or not, but it's starting to ball up a bit. And you'll see it through the back, it bleeds through. Um, so this is the, I'm going to try and pick the same sort of two colours from the Arteza pack as this. Now I keep accidentally touching that embossing powder which is making it a bit black and a bit streaky. Um, so I've done just that bottom bit. Right now I get the Arteza pens and I want to try and grab two of the similar ones to this to kind of show you. So I think, that's be that one or that one maybe. Yeah, that we'll go with that one. And then we'll go with, that one looks pretty similar, doesn't it? So we'll go with those two from Arteza. Um, I like the design of the pen. I feel like it's really easy to hold. It's triangular. I feel like that feels quite nice compared to this one, which is square. I feel like it's not as nice. I mean, it's still fine, but I, I like the shape of the Arteza ones. Right, so now I'm gonna do Arteza on that side. And again, I will do line. Um, same as on the AliExpress ones, the fine tip has got the line on it. Arteza is a lot more easy to see, it's bigger and it's the same colour. So you don't have to, if your pen's lying down, you can instantly see what colour it is. AliExpress ones, you can from that end, but not that bit there. Sorry, I've kicked the camera with my foot. Right, let's try this. So. So the tip on the Arteza one is a lot finer, so you can do a lot thinner of a line, whereas the one from AliExpress was a lot fatter and harder to control. Um, not a problem, it's still skinny, but if you're doing something like this, which has got very, oops, very thin detailed lines, you want a thinner tip. I don't know what these are like compared to Copics. Um, Copics are usually the, the main brand people buy. I think they retail for about two pounds a pound. They're a lot more expensive than these ones. I don't know what they're like. I've never used them because I've never been able to afford them. Um, so yeah, these obviously, you can't put the lids on the end, but that's fine. Um, and now I'm just gonna blend it in. So this is blending a lot faster than the AliExpress ones. I'm not having to spend nearly as much time on, which means the paper's not suffering either. I mean, I have nothing against the AliExpress pens other than the points that I've made where it's harder to get a, a really good range of, of pens and a good set. But the Arteza ones do seem to blend a lot faster and a lot easier. The tip's a lot finer on it. You can feel the quality difference. There's more ink coming out as well. So that took me a few, just a few minutes compared to the AliExpress ones, and obviously I didn't pick very well in terms of colours being the same. Um, you also, sorry I didn't show you that, but you get the, the fat end as well as the thin end. I've never used a fat end of a pen when, when crafting before. You get the same on the AliExpress ones. <clears throat> but they're both alcohol markers. I find these don't smell nearly as much as these. These are very, very smelly. These ones, I've, I've been colouring and colouring and have not been bothered by the smell, I've not noticed the smell that much. So if you're very scent sensitive, these are better um, as well. So those are the two, AliExpress and um, oh, oh, AliExpress versus Arteza. And this is Stampin' Up Thick White Cardstock. 
So, um, don't know if there's any more to do with that. that that's kind of my, my personal opinion as a crafter. I prefer the Arteza ones. I like how they all come in as a bundle. I like that you've got every colour you could possibly need. I love the case that they come in. Very happy with that. Right, so let's do some watercolouring. So this again is another Stampin' Up! image. Boo, let's go this way. Um, this is a flower from one of their sets. And I will just sort of do the bottom bit and I'll do um, pink and purple maybe. Um, one of the things that you can do with watercolouring that I only learned fairly recently, uh, if you've got a bit of scrap paper, let's say we'll take this one for example, is you can either colour straight onto your excuse me, straight onto your image and then blend it out or you can colour on here and then let me find a pen with some water in it um, you can pick it up and then you could put it on your image like that um, so you can do either of those ways I'm going to do it straight on the image for you um, I kind of want a bigger image, have I got any other big ones like the butterfly. But maybe, you know what, I'm just, hmm, I really want the big butterfly because it would be easier for you to see what I mean by the Pauline. Okay, let's just do it this way. I'm going to flip this over just, just to compare for now. Let me find two similar ones from the Arteza stuff. I'm sorry this is such a long video. I just had this panic. I'm like, is it actually recording? Um, Sorry, I'm just turning it to face me for a minute, just so I can see the colours. <clears throat> right, I think that's a similar pink. Oh, these are such a nightmare to get out. Um, and that's probably the closest purple I have to that. So I think this is Rich Raspberry, raspberry and Melon Mambo. And then I am using from Arteza. I am using eggplant and plum. That doesn't look like a plum colour to me. Um, but yes, so uh, that's another nice thing about Arteza is that they've got all the um, labels on. I don't know what these numbers are for though. I thought maybe they were numbers so that you could keep them in order in the box, but they aren't in that order, so I don't know what those numbers are for. But never mind. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'll use the purple. Oh, this is so hard. I'm going backwards here. I'm going to colour like that and I'm just going to see how they blend. So I'm going to do the same with... Oh, what is with my hair everywhere today? I'm going to colour like that. I really love this colour from Stampin' Up! <laughs> um, so I'm going to... My brush is wet. I'm just going to pull the colour and see how well lines disappear. Ooh, put a bit too much water on. I did press quite hard with this. Okay, so that's the Arteza one. You just clean this brush off a bit using my handy dandy tool called my hand because <laughs> I didn't bring scrap paper. Right, there we go. That's cleaned off. Get a good amount of water coming out, but too much water because this pen's cheap and it's all coming out the top as well. <laughs> Sorry guys, I wish I had a better pen with me. Right, so. The Stampin' Up! one compared to the Arteza one is quite good. It blends those lines quite well. So that's obviously all in my head. So those work quite nice. Right, so let's do Arteza on this one. Um, again, I'm not very good with watercolours. I'm not sure what their full potential would be. But I'm just going to do... What I'm going to try and do is what I would do with the alcohol markers. And I'm going to try and use two colours. So I'm going to do dark... Am I in the camera? I'm going to do dark along one of the edges. And then light along the other edge. Um, light in the middle and then I'm going to try and blend them together a bit. Um, I would love to take some little mini classes on how to use these pen pencil crayons to their full advantage because I feel like I've not really learned much about watercolour pencils in my life 
and I'm not really sure what I'm doing 100%. So I'm grabbing that color and I'm just going to try and blend it all in. Can you see very well? I might zoom in a little bit more. Oh, wrong way. Okay. And then I'm just going to pull this. Sorry, I'm not talking much. I've got to really focus. Okay. And I'm sure I'm supposed to be using watercolor paper. Um, and I know with watercolor paints, you really want the paper to be wet to get that kind of really watery look. But you can't get the paper wet before you use the pencil crayon because then you can't color on it. So I'm not 100% sure what I should be doing. Other than when I do um, when I do it the other way where I color on a bit of paper first. So there we go. There's Arteza. And let's do compare it to Stampin' Up. So Stampin' Up's pencil crayons, price-wise, versus Arteza, I'm going to put it on the bottom of the screen because I can't remember. Um, and Stampin' Up is obviously a craft company, crafting company. Arteza is an art product company. Um, so I will put on the bottom of the screen somewhere around now what the cost per pencil works out to be. The nice thing with coloring with these pencil crayons is you don't fully have to color in the image. You can just, um, just messy color and then you pull it all together in the end. These blend really well as well. This is the only thing I have to compare to because I've not bought any cheap off the street supplies. So, compared to Stampin' Up, I think they're basically like, roughly the same sort of, sorry, I'm trying to get them the right way, same sort of quality and same sort of end result. Um, so yeah, I really like the Arteza watercolor pencils, but as I said before, I would probably buy the starter kit as a, a crafter, just because 72 pencils is a bit too many, and they're all very similar color to, colors to me. Um, but yes, I hope you've had fun. I hope you've learned something. Um, and if you'd like any of the links, they're down below. Um, do you remember that they're affiliate links? Um, I want to be very honest about that. And I'm not bothered whether you use them or not. Um, but this is my honest review of Arteza products. I'm really happy. And I will probably be looking into getting some regular colouring pencils and some of their watercolour brushes, I think, in the future. Um, but yes, thanks for joining me and happy crafty. So any questions, any comments, just pop them down below and I'll be happy to answer. I do aim to reply to absolutely every single person who comments on my YouTube videos. And thank you for joining me for this ridiculously long video today. I hope you had a good time and I hope we see you again soon. Bye!